This is tick count trend for NinjaTrader 8. I want to show you the setup for it. Um, it's a one minute chart. Let's look at the strategy performance report going back to, uh, we set the date back to 2005. Here, here is the analysis. Average trade profit almost similar to the report in TradeStation. And you see the drawdown here and the analysis. You see, let's look at the annual analysis. You see that in years when there's more volatility, this strategy does better. And so in 2018, you see that there's 17, 125, average trade profit of 125. Um, 2016, nice average trade profit, not as many trades, 81, 12. Uh, the parameters are a little bit different because the NYC tick works differently. Um, you know, there wasn't any trades in 2017 in NinjaTrader, so you, you should consider the annual or lifetime license and trade when volatility is picking up as it is now. Uh, 2011 is 10,100, 2008, 2009, 2007. Um, you see the average trade profits for those. Those are some of the better years in NinjaTrader. So that is the update for uh, tick count trend. Let's look at the in, let's look at the inputs. And you see here we have. Let me turn this off so you can see the inputs better. So the bull and bear value are different because the NYC tick works different in different platforms. So you have to kind of experiment. This is with Kinetic. Plus or minus 100 works well. The max daily entries are the same. All the other inputs are the same. The stop loss 500. Profit target 800. And you have some additional inputs you can you could plug in if you wanted. The start and stop times are the same. We use one minute tick. And then data three is we're on a custom session. So we use a 405 minute bar which is one one day on a custom session and the custom session is CME uh, regular trading hours for US stock index futures and those are the other settings and how you set it up I'll show you the data settings next so for the data settings we right click and I'll show you what the setup is it's basically a one minute chart last minute one and then you can set the date uh, went back to 2005 the data doesn't go back that far uh, CME US index futures regular trading hours and you may want to make sure that you have the day session for this and there's many options to choose and you want to choose this this comes with NinjaTrader so um, the chart style doesn't matter it's up to you this is what I use and some of the other settings that I like are uh, the session breaks I like to say the trading hours break line and I like to change that. Sometimes I change that to red or another color that stands out like red. And let's see where is a good red color. There's red. And then I apply it. And you see the session. You can see the beginning of each day. It's easier to tell where the day starts and ends when you have the session break highlighted. So that's the data settings for tick count trend.